Black History Month. So, so we'll be doing what I like to call Black History Shorts. Yeah, we're just going to upload like a few videos um, each month, or not each month, like throughout the month. And I'll just telling you about, about black history stuff. And little facts yeah. that you may or may not know. Mm -hmm. And for this segment, we will be talking to you about hair care yes. for black women. Black yeah. hair care. Yeah, hair care, uh, black hair care has come a long way. Yeah, um, we know we complain and fuss sometimes about the state of our hair, but back then, yeah, like, they, had, they some, had it bad. They had yeah, some rough, rough beginnings, humble yeah. beginnings when it came to their hair. But, and, you know, we have... Annie Malone and, and Sarah, Sarah Breedlove, Breedlove, which many of you know, Sarah Breedlove is uh, also Madam C.J. Walker. Yeah. Um, she just married, uh, what was his name? His name was Charles Joseph yeah. Walker. So, yeah. The C.J. C.J. Yeah. Into those two, and like we just admire. Yeah, we have them to thank for like their willpower and tenacity yeah. and to, you know, helping kind of start bringing black hair care from like drab to fab. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so back then during the, the late 1800s, early 1900s era, the straight hair look is what a lot well, of the black wanted. girls were trying to get. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, didn't they didn't want, want the braids because it reminded them of the the past, the slavery past. Yeah, so I guess they were trying to shed that image. Mm -hmm. So hence why some people go slave braids. braids. Yeah, I remember like, when we were younger. We used to have plets. plets. Our mom used to put plets, plets in our hair, hair. like. And you know, a lot of people used to call them like slave braids. braids. I never. Yeah. We, we didn't really get it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you wear plets or braids, yeah. I mean, no one's gonna associate you with yeah. a slave. Um, you can rock your braids and be fabulous. Um, but anyway, it was more like plets, I guess. Like braids, braids are more glamorous now. The plets is what people were. I yeah, guess, but with, guess coming out your head and you guess kind of plets way. and braids kind of the same thing. I don't know. Maybe well, what you thinking? I think you're thinking of cornrows, maybe. Just we all get what we're saying. Yeah, y'all get what we're saying. Yeah. What they were using back then wasn't really helping them, as you can see. Yeah, they were using goose fat. Um, Butter and bacon grease, and then the thick oils. Yeah, and they're also using carding combs. And in case you don't know what carding combs are, they're these combs that you use. I think you, you basically like pick the sheep's wool. Yeah, right? pick wool like, off the sheep. Yeah, and yeah, that was damaging their hair because I don't. I don't think black hair back then was as rough as it was wool. Rough hair. I man. mean, maybe. But either way, it was um, tearing up their hair, literally. Now, Annie Malone, she was very much into chemistry. And so, with her knowledge of chemistry, she was able to create products that could help straighten the hair without really damaging it. Yeah. That's why we now have straightening combs and, like, you know, flat and, irons and stuff like that. And perms and perms. stuff like that. And with straightening combs, you know, it's... It reminds me of our grandma. Our grandma used to straighten our hair with a straightening yeah, comb. Yeah, and she would have to get the edges right here, and so... She'll kind of nick our ears sometimes. Yeah, because and that comb came straight like, out. Yeah, that comb came straight <laughs> off the, the stove. Off the stove. Yeah. So <laughs> when it hits your ear, it hurt. So yeah. So even to this day, when someone straightened my hair with a we flat iron, we always have to hold our ear. I still hold my ear. By the way, we love our grandma. Hey, grandma. Yeah. Hey, grandma. <laughs> After a while, you know, she started hitting the pavement selling this stuff. Yeah, and that's when Madam C J Walker came in. Which Madam C J Walker was one of the agents that Annie used to help sell her products door to door. So that's when she came on the scene. She was having hair issues too. Yeah, she was just having like scalp infection. Yeah, it was in her the... scalp. So that's um... and I think her hair and her hair was falling out as well. So she created a product that could kind of help with the I guess it was a it was a repairing product. It was like conditioning mm -hmm. and repairing for the hair and the scalp. Right. So a lot of people do think that it was Madame CJ Walker yeah. that created the perm or started the perm idea. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't. It was definitely Annie Malone. It's Annie. Yeah, and I think I, I think I did a report in high school or middle school or something. Yeah, and I, I think I, too. Yeah. I think I wrongly reported people, that she did. Yeah, do that. like they think it was Madam C J Walker mm -hmm. who invented the straightening comb or in the um, the perm and stuff. And Miss Annie was first. Both yeah. of them were, you know, pioneers in the whole hair care business. So yeah, they had. Yeah, exactly. They They're have both a, winning. Yes. <laughs> And they both have similar stories. They, like even Madam C J Walker went started going door to door with her products as well. And they both went on to become millionaires, by the way. Cha -ching, cha -ching. And they also created other opportunities for people to learn how to take care of their hair. And Madam C J Walker started Layla College in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And then Annie, she started Pearl College in St. Louis. Yeah. So that's so a good this, thing. Yeah, that, that was really cool. That hmm, I just spit. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was really cool that they did that. And as women, I think we can all take a page out of their book. Definitely. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I mean, for real, I think they should have, should have, you know, not just as black women, but all women, black, yellow, orange, gray. I think everyone should, um, kind of, can kind of learn from these ladies yeah. and stuff. And I like how black women, we all have, like, different hair types now. Now you see the whole natural thing, like, I'm, we're embracing that as well. We love, like, the whole natural look as well. Yeah, and well, that there's products yeah. that cater to that as well. Yeah, so, like, they open up a variety, yeah. like, a wide range of, like, of things for black hair care. Like, yeah, because other people kind of built on the knowledge that they right. laid, so they pretty much laid the foundation for look, that. The natural look, mm -hmm. the braid look, weave look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> any yeah. kind of look, any whatever that has to do with natural or women or black women hair care. Like, yeah, it's flourishing today. Yeah. Yeah. We love right. it. Yeah. So we're just going to leave some quotes with you guys that these women have said. But yeah, um, take a look at the quotes at the end of the video. And thank you for watching our Black History Short yeah. on Madam C.J. Walker and Annie Malone.